Teles throw into Martial. Where's it going to go? Bruno Fernandes, great player. Rashford, lovely overlap as well. And a dink just to finish it off. Martial again. All by himself. Keep going, lad. No, straight to Fernandes. One touch pass again, straight to Cavani. Lovely goal. Lovely. Uh, Mendy with a header back. Pogba wins it. Bruno Fernandes, Diallo. Straight to Cavani. Yep, yeah, he took it. And he scored. Uh, Shaw wins the tackle. Straight to Telles. Looks like Telles has pushed up on that left-hand side. And he's going to square it to... Oh, no. Own goal. Shame. Right then, Young. Hey, the forgotten man. Manchester United's old player as well. Uh, Lukaku. Anyway... <laughs> There we go. <laughs> what a strike. Kimi, long throw in on the top of Lukaku's head. Sure, of course it is. Big lad, target man, nice goal. All right then, Skrinja, great centre back. Straight to Kolarov. Where's he going to go? Swing it into the big lad, swing it into the big lad. Swing it into the big lad. Oh, it didn't quite go to the big lad, but it rebounded to him. All right then, D'Ambrosio. There we go. Nice pass to Lutaro Martinez. Is he going to go by himself or square it? What's he going to... Oh, dear. Beating at the near post. Come on, goalkeeper. Here we go. Screen here again. Lutaro Martinez. Passing it straight. Oh, lovely pass. Lovely bit of vision for Lukaku. And he's always going to score that. Hello everyone, I'm Tucker Jobs and welcome back to Tactic Testing. So, the tactic you've just seen in the highlights is the attacking 442 Diamond, the Phantom Menace version 2. Now, I did an old Phantom Menace tactic for FM20. If you checked it out, well done. Thank you for watching the videos. And if it worked for you, bob on. This is the new version for FM21. Um, the creator is Ryan Cassidy. If you don't know who Ryan Cassidy is, is pretty much associated or affiliated with Omega Luke. If you don't know who Omega Luke is then you're pretty much living under a rock. <laughs> um, no, Omega Luke is another football manager creator. He does fantastic videos, fantastic series. All right, he does tactics. He does Wonder Kids, which are brilliant videos. Uh, you should definitely check them out. And uh, if you are interested, then there is a link to Luke's uh, YouTube page in my description. So just click it, give him a watch, and I'm sure you'll love it just as much as I do. And then also, if you're interested in more Ryan Cassidy tactics, then in Luke's videos, there will be a Discord link to take you to the Omega Club Discord channel. And I'm pretty sure you'll find a whole section on Ryan Cassidy tactics um, and you can then download at your pleasure, basically. And I'm pretty sure they're all, they're all going to be great, just like this one. Uh, so let's get on then with the tactics. So the teams taking uh, part in the test is Manchester United, Brighton, Inter, Parma, Notts County and Brackley. Um, obviously, I'll be focusing on the first top four here. And then glancing over at the other two just to show that it might work or does work in the lowerish leagues. So uh, yeah, let's get on with the tactics. So if you can't download the tactic, I'm going to go through the instructions right now. So pressing forward left. Preston forward right, attacking midfielder, winger left, winger right, deep line playmaker, complete wing back left, complete wing back right, ball playing defender left, ball playing defender right, and the sweeper keeper, set piece instructions, corners, defending right and left, and attacking left and right with the taker aiming for the near post, free kicks, defending right and left, and attacking left. And right, and the taker is a uh, mixed and small chance shot right and left with mixed taker again. Indirect wide, left and right, and that is also mixed. And then finally, deep free kicks right and left, which is also mixed. So go to the throw and then defending right and left and attacking left and right, which is the long throwing. Uh, so back to the tactic. It is an attacking mentality tactic. In possession, extremely wide attacking width, uh, passing space on the approach play. Play out defence and focus play down the left and down the right and overlap down the left and the right as well. Uh, slightly more direct passing directness with an extremely high tempo. Low crosses in the final third, work ball into box and run at defence. So as you can see, just from this alone, if you are a winger kind of guy, if you are a wide kind of manager, then it looks like this one might be for you. 
All right, so in transition, uh, counter press and counter, your goalkeeper's instructions are to distribute quickly, distribute to the flanks and take short kicks. And then out of possession, you've got using the offside trap with a much higher line of engagement, a higher defensive line. You're forcing opposition outside. Use tighter marking, extremely urgent pressing intensity will prevent your short goalkeeper distribution. And the get stuck in instruction is on. So... The good thing about this tactic is what I like, obviously, you've seen in the highlights, is uh, the two pressing forwards. When they get the ball, and if they ever drift back to maybe get away from danger, get away from the man, maybe come down the pitch a little bit more, offer a little bit in support in a midfield or, or attacking midfield positions around here. Every now and again, you see a beautiful sight of these coming down. Say this pressing forward or this pressing forward just drops down into this section here when they get the ball. You see the two wingers or the one winger, whichever side it is on at the time, run forward, cut in and act like the missing striker basically because that striker is no longer in the right position they've come back so it's fun when when it happens you think oh yeah nice nice bit of wing play <laughs> so uh, if you're interested in this tactic normally when you uh, pick without restriction it'll give you a rough idea of what players should go in what position obviously it's down to a uh, personal choice as well because like me i don't like my, having martell up front I like having Rashford up front, so I'll switch. Yeah? You might not like Lingard on the right-hand side. You might choose to have Mason Greenwood, retrain him as an attacking winger. Uh, so there's plenty of things, obviously, that you can change and tweak um, when it comes to this kind of uh, formation, when it comes to the players that you choose. Obviously, it's all down to you and what you think would do better as a manager. Um, so let's get on with the tactic, and I'll see you at the end of the season for all of the results. Welcome back everyone then. So end of the season, we are in the Premier League, Manchester United and Brighton. So Man U unfortunately were four points off reaching top place or joining top place. That is Liverpool. Oh, good old Liverpool winning the league as usual. All right. So uh, yeah, they're a very powerful team. So Manchester United, great. End of the day, this is a simulation test for the tactic, I think, with a bit of human touch, human manager. Some players being brought in as well in certain positions, they would have stormed it. Um, and then Brighton. Brighton were the underdogs. They are predicted 17th, which is just outside relegation, and they finished 7th and actually qualified for European football. It's a shame that they had a minus 6 goal difference. All right, that's, that's a little bit problematic, but again... On simulation testing, there is deviation or random number generation, as some people would call. Um, if I do this test again, they could finish in the exact same place and have a plus 10 um, goal difference, and Manchester United might have won the league. If I do it again, they might finish 10th. If I do it again, 9th. No, little variations. Um, and I've, always, I've, I've already said in another video where you would need to actually test loads of times, 20, 30, 15 times. Um, to actually get an average of how it can possibly do to give the most accurate assessment of a tactic test. Uh, so anyway, let's go on to the top three players. Cavani, Mupe and Greenwood. The two high scorers, both belonging to Brighton and Manchester United. 22 goals, 19, 18. Uh, average rating, Fernandez there, third place. Assists, you got Fernandez again there in second place with 13. And then uh, no player of the matches or clean sheets for either team. So Manchester United's competitions then. Ooh, lovely. All right, they won the Champions League. They actually beat Man City in the final on penalties. 1-1. That, that's what it finished. And uh, also won the FA Cup. So they did get a double, which is always nice. And they got the Champions Cup. The Champions Cup is the biggest uh, competition, or the biggest bit of silverware um, to get, especially if you're Manchester United. What a, what a trophy to have. Uh, a nice one to them. Let's have a look at a quick schedule. Some of the results. Head-to-heads against Brighton. So the first time you played Brighton, it was a one all draw. Second time you played Brighton, it was a 6-1 thrashing. A 6-1 thrashing, and what an end to the season. All right, in the last month of May, every single game went unbeaten. Unfortunately, you drew against Southampton, but you had a pretty Good, uh, a pretty good end, definitely, definitely. Um, compared to your start, yeah, you, you pretty much went all unbeaten until near the end of November. Had a little bit of a blip mid-season, and I'm guessing there might have been an injury maybe, a little bit of tiredness, but you came back, got composed, and had a fantastic um, and squad then so average ratings not as many as i've seen before but don't forget guys this is a tactic that isn't a plug and play um it doesn't just 
always work you've got to you've got to actually put a bit of thought into it and um, make make the changes necessary make the charts necessary change the instructions mark the players necessary if you can see something happening through the middle all right and that player needs marking then mark them show them onto the wrong foot you know the gist. You know the gist. You've been playing the game longer. Nah, guys. Um, so your best player was Fernandez. 20 goals and 24 assists. Lovely. Uh, biggest goal scorers, you've got Martial, uh, Cavani, Greenwood, Bruno Fernandez, and Rashford all getting double digits with, uh, with obviously Martial and Cavani scoring 32 and 30. So nice one. Biggest greatest in your team, Fernandez, Martial, uh, Rashford, Lingard. Uh, all getting double digits. Lingard actually had a half decent season. Average rating. 6.9, that's not great, but 8 and 10. All right. Too bad. Not too bad for Lingard. Not too bad at all. He's having a greater season at West Ham, though, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> um, let's have a look at the team report then. So on a whole, at least you are doing very well in the averages, all right? Shots per game, goals per game, conceding per game below one. Absolutely incredible. Um, analyst report, scoring, attacking efficiency, aggressive and clinical. Yeah, you're always going to be there, man, you aren't you? And then uh, conceding, you're actually very uh, or decently defensive. All right? You are quiet and impenetrable. Four numbers then is 152 goals. Not bad, uh, not bad at all, Sunshine. And then uh, 63 goals conceded in all competitions, but they were in quite a lot, don't forget. So in the league, it was 96 goals scored, which was the best, and then 34 conceded, which was the fourth best. So yeah. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. Right. Some people can actually struggle with Man U. I personally have a great experience with Manchester United. Some of the tests I've done with them have been fantastic. And I really do enjoy that the team that they're actually getting in. And so, yeah, good luck if you do decide to be Manchester United. Uh, next up then is uh, Brighton. They are the underdogs. We've seen the top threes. How do they do in the competitions? Uh, FA Cup, they went out in the third round by West Ham. And then the Carabao Cup, fourth round by West Brom. I think it's two very winnable games there. So it's a shame they didn't get a little bit further. Uh, schedule, some of the head-to-heads. Let's have a look. Big teams, Tottenham. Nice result there. 4-3 as well. Uh, Leicester, 2-1. Great result. You can see it's a big difference to Manchester United. But you still finished in a decent position. Uh, so, 4 4 0 against Southampton, Burnley 2 0, Fulham. Yeah, you should win that. Leeds 5 1. And then uh, Tottenham again 4 4. Had some nice goal scoring uh, games with uh, Tottenham. Uh, Chelsea 4 0. Now that is a good result. And that is probably the best result actually against the big teams. I think it is. Chelsea 4 0. Uh, squad. Let's have a look. Pretty similar to Man U, not as many. And um, obviously, some of these players are actually on loan as well. So yeah, you got a lot less. Um, so yeah, your best player was not counting him because he only played one game. So Mupe, all right, 20 goals, six assists. Biggest goal scorers, Mupe and Welbeck, 20 and 16. Biggest creators, uh, McAllister, Lamptey, 13 and 8. Team report for the underdogs. We there we go. Ooh, okay. So this is actually, it's not, not very often I get one that is like this. It's a bit, a bit of a conundrum, all right, because you actually did very well in the league. Could be down to then that you got lucky with other teams dropping points. Uh, end of the day, shots on target ratio, expected goals and goals per game are all above the averages of the Premier Division. Everywhere else is actually very typical, actually, of an underdog. So if I wasn't, if I thought this was a plug and play, you wouldn't be happy. All right. I know that this isn't a plug and play. I know that you have to work on it. With holiday simulations, it's not showing, I think, the potential it can be without playing it. I've seen this tactic. No, well, not this exact one, but a version of it in a youth to gold from that Omega Luke. And uh, I know it can do uh, it can do wonders. It can do wonders. Um, so trust the tactic, work on the tactic, and I'm pretty sure it will come to a, you'll come to love it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's go to the uh, analyst report then. So, scoring, attack, and efficiency, passive and clinical, not the worst, all right? Could be passive and wasteful. Uh, and then conceding, I'm guessing we're in busy and leaky. Yeah, of course we are. <laughs> uh, full numbers, oh, I'm not going not gonna to like this one. Okay, evens. We're evens all around. In all competitions, not just the league, we are even, which is, yeah, 76 goals scored, 76 goals conceded. Okay, okay, 
all I'm going to say about that one. At uh, home, uh, let's have a look in the league then. 68 goals scored, and then unfortunately 74 conceded. So, yeah, it's a little, they had a little bit of a trouble. Brighton are hard. Brighton are hard to test with as well. Um, they've, they've got a little bit of a weak team compared to everyone else. And maybe this tactic just isn't quite suited for the underdogs. All right, I might just need to basically admit that there's a tactic here that may not work for the uh, underdogs. It might do well with a mid-table team or mid to top, 10th, 9th, 8th, something like that. Uh, maybe it just might... Be, just be out of Brighton's uh, capabilities to utilise it to its full effectiveness. Manu, I think, did very, very well. Um, so, yeah, next uh, next league then. So, we are going to the Italian Serie A with Inter and Palmer. How did they do? So, yeah, pretty similar, actually. So, I'm confidently going to say that Palmer, okay, 14th. So, they are also a, a low team, an underdog team, and they finished ninth. I've finished in high positions before with Palmer with different tactics. So I know it's possible. Um, no players in the top threes from them. So yeah, I think actually this may be a mid to top team tactic or whatever league you're in that is. And uh, I think that'll where, where it will really shine. So yeah, you can make your own decision if you want to work on it from the very get go. If you are deciding to do the underdogs, maybe with a human human management some players coming in the right players coming in for the tactic um it will perform better for the underdogs because don't forget guys i'm not bringing in any players when i test these tactics for the lower leagues or lower teams um so yeah that can definitely work against you if you are just forcing a tactic on someone that just can't quite adapt to it very well uh, as much as good as the top top teams can um, so yeah, let's go through these anyway. Inter champions, Championos. All right, ninety-two points, finished four points above Lazio, and then Palma came ninth. Top threes: Lukaku with forty-two league goals, with Martinez coming third with twenty-six. Lukaku average rating first uh, assist. You've got Eriksen and Kolarov first and second, and then player of the matches: Lukaku once again with um, ten player of the matches there. Competitions then: Champions Cup. We know they didn't win because Manchester United did, and the Italian Cup. We got to the quarterfinal, got knocked out by Atalanta. Unfortunately. They won on penalties as well. Such a shame. So head to head then against Palmer. How did we do? So Palmer first time played um, Inter won three nil, and then the second, well, the first time they played it was a six nil thrashing. Then the second time they played it was a three nil thrashing. So yeah, Inter definitely, uh, definitely did better in in all in all scenarios. <laughs> and as you can see, all the other results are there. Chelsea look six one against Chelsea lovely uh squad out did the squad do pretty much similar to uh manchester united to be fair all right best player was lukaku with 49 goals in all competitions and nine assists uh, and then lutaro martinez just below him with 34 goals biggest goal scorers after them pair was sanchez and he was the only one that got into double digits and biggest creators in the team got hakimi erics and color of d'ambrosio and lukaku 9 10 15 15 and 15 uh, so Ericsson, obviously one of the main players in your team, creating a lot of chances as well. Most likely due to the fact that he probably would have took quite a lot of set pieces. Uh, team report, on the whole, pretty much domination. Uh, yes, you are thrashing all the averages. Pass completion ratio is a little bit low. All right, so you might want to, if you fancy tinkering, drop down the... Um, the intensity of the tactic so obviously you go to the tactic you go to in possession and then extremely high tempo slow it down a little bit all right you might miss some passes pass into space if it really suits your team then go for it if it doesn't maybe take it off for the underdogs that might be something to take off um anyway because right? pass into space obviously requires some decent players some fast players um to obviously break through their defense and if you can't do that if you don't have the players that can make those runs then you don't want it you don't want it you'll just lose possession um so back to team report then if we go to the analyst report scoring aggressive and clinical and then if we go to conceding we are where are you there we are quiet and impenetrable four numbers not focus or facts sorry four numbers is 143 goals and 55 goals conceded uh, in the league it is 111 goals which was the best and only 36 conceded which was actually the fifth best so 36 i, th I think that's pretty low i really do um but it was the fifth best so yeah next up palmer the underdogs did half decent all right at the end of the day ninth is still better than the media prediction for the team that you have that hasn't changed 
Um, so, yeah, I'm happy with that. Still minus three on the gold difference. It's a shame. But, um, yeah, it happens. It happens. And we've just got to admit that this may be more suited to the top topper teams, higher teams, better teams, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so, we've seen the players, seen the top threes competitions. How did they do? Went out in the first round against Atalanta. Schedule then. Let's have a look at the thrashings we got and the thrashings we gave, hopefully. Um, so, did we face anyone decent in, in, in the uh, thing now? No, no one decent in the friendlies. Uh, so let's have a look then. Oh, so 2 1, 3 1. Let's have a Milan. That's a decent result. 1 0 against Milan. Uh, beat by Juventus. Unfortunately, Lazio. Great result. Verona 3 1, 4 2. Uh, Napoli 3 0. So yeah, it's there. It's capable. Just obviously a little bit inconsistent um, because with a low team, you've just maybe got to count on the look a little bit more. But regardless, great tactic. Don't forget, every tactic is great if you can do it right, unless you just unless it's a tactic that doesn't play defenders. Uh, I keep seeing that in the comments in my Discord. Defenderless tactic. Can it be created? I think the closest I saw was I think it was an RDF tactic or a tactic that was submitted to RDF uh, that had one defender can there actually be a defenderless tactic where you might have a whole defensive midfield line of wing backs um and anchor men half backs and maybe retraining big players like van dyke i mean screen you i mean the big center backs to kind of drop down in that position would it work has anyone tried it i might try it i won't show you the results if it's dreadful though oh, i might actually it'll be funny so uh, squad only one player got a green rating 7.03 11 goals for him though and um, five assists and then if we have a look at the team report all right you can't really see big numbers there biggest goal scorers cornelius Caroma, 13 11 11 11 and then biggest creators in your team no one got above double digits that's a shame it's a shame it is it is team report on a whole all right it's actually better than brighton but you are in a worse league. So, end of the day, tackles one, goals per game, expected goals per game, shots per game. Once again, you are beating the averages. And it's better than Brighton because obviously Brighton never had the shots per game. So, um, yeah, nice one. Not bad. Nice report. Analyst report. Let's have a look. Um, scoring, attacking efficiency. You are aggressive and clinical still. So, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, conceding, unfortunately, you're also busy and leaky. So then let's have a look at the analyst report. Stats, full stats, 71 goals scored. And unfortunately, we have one where we have conceded more than we scored in other competitions. <laughs> oh, it's a shame. In the league, 66 goals scored, which was the fourth best. Not bad for an underdog. Um, but goals conceded 69 which is the second worst you were nearly the worst how can you be the second worst when you've got like benevento torino minus 24 minus 42 it's just you've just scored that many that it doesn't look as bad at minus three but Unfortunately, the tactic just wasn't defensively sound for Palmer and they came second worst when it comes to goals conceded. So, yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame, but i got to show it. It's tactic testing and I've got to show it. I can't just I can't just pretty it up, unfortunately. Uh, so the two teams out in the lower leagues, the Notts County and Brackley, had a Notts County do they were champions. Right, they're one point above second place, so they didn't have to play the playoffs. And uh, well done to them, obviously, with a couple of players in the top threes. And then if we go to Brackley, we didn't play the playoffs. All right. So, but I'm just letting you know they got into the playoffs. If they don't get promoted, I'm like, oh, that's a bummer. And with it being a, a simulated test, anything could happen in playoffs. It's the playoffs. It's like a whole cup competition. Um, so just remember, they finished second. They finished second, potentially, maybe getting promoted, but no spoilers. <laughs> Everyone's going to hate that. Oh, I want to see him get promoted. <laughs> uh, so that's the tactic, guys. That is Ryan Cassidy's uh, Phantom Menace version 2 tactic. If you like the shape, if you like the look of the tactic, if you like maybe... 
him as a creator, you might have already seen his tactics before or used them before. So, um, yeah, check it out. All right, give it a chance. I'm sure it will do well with um, some human management as well as the uh, tactical genius that Ryan Cast is because he is. He creates some great tactics, and I've heard great stories about him. And I've, I've been on the Discord. I've been on Luke's Discord. I've seen people talking to him. So if you want to talk to him, go to Luke's Discord. All right, chat to him, ask him questions about it, and I'm sure he'll get back to you. Little bits of information, little bit of little bits of nicks and knacks and tips and tips and stuff. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you'll uh, come to love the guy and his tactics. So um, yeah, I'm Tucker Jobs. This was the Phantom Menace. Hopefully you subscribe. Hopefully you join the Discord. All those links will be in the descriptions. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.